So we had a little performance issue. Uh, I'm going to present a toy example, but uh, hopefully a meaningful one. Um, basically, caveats first. Other one. No? Caveats first. It's performance talk, so your know, mileage may vary. You know, your situation will be different, and so on. There'll be some results at the end. I'm not claiming those will be accurate in your situation. Um, you know, is this a clickbait situation? Possibly, because I'm claiming to beat glibc. Uh, which I'm sure is not true in general, but uh, there are people much smarter than me that uh, have written that code. And similarly, there's another library I refer to, but uh, it worked for me. So what am I doing? Is that readable? I hope. So what am I doing? Uh, this is a well-known library uh, out there, uh, 20 uh, gigabytes worth of 850 million uh, passwords that have been hacked. You probably all know about it. Uh, SHA-1 encoded uh, with account. Um, we're trying to sort that thing. Uh, it's too big for memory, so we're doing an extended uh, sort to disk in chunks and then recombine, fairly standard process. Um, the problem is it's quite slow because it's quite big. Um, so the sort and memory of the chunks is quite fast. We do it in parallel across all the CPUs. C++ does, makes that very easy, very simple. Uh, recombining the chunks onto disk, however, uh, is really slow. It takes like 10 minutes. Yeah. And interestingly, it's not disk bound. That's the thing that really surprised me. I would have expected the disk to be the limit. It's not. Um, so what is the bottleneck? Control C and GDB. Um, nine out of 10 times, it's in mem, copy, uh, mem, mem compare, right? So if you know mem compare, if you're comparing a SHA, it's just going through. Uh, there are some optimizations in there. Uh, we'll talk about those. But basically, it's just comparing the 20 bytes. Uh, that's the bottleneck, OK? So what, um, and I checked, obviously, that that's the key call in the spaceship operator that you would normally have. Um, can we do better? Can we do faster than a consumer-grade solid-state disk? I would have hoped so. Um, someone recommended this thing, uh, which is written by someone much smarter than me, um, hand-coded machine code, uh, you know, mem, co mem compare replacement. Um, and yeah, it's very nice code. It's uh, customized to each architecture, SSE2, AVX, AVX2, et cetera. So it does a CPU detect and then you know, has really nice code, which I couldn't better. Um, can we do better still? This is faster. I'll show the results at the end. Uh, but can we do better? So what do we know? Uh, well, C++ is good at compile time stuff. Um, we actually know the size of the SHA. That's one of the things that neither of those two libraries can possibly know, because it's just a fixed pre-compiled thing. Um, uh, we also know our target hardware. That's also something those libraries don't know. They've got branches in there. They've got ifs in there. They have to compute those. Um, that wastes time when you're calling it this many times. So what can we do? So while I also wanted to kind of be out, have, retain the ability to integrate it with some normal C++ code without being too hacky about it. So um, this is what I ultimately came up with, if you can read that. Uh, basically, it's uh, a recursive template function that just chomps out the pieces of the 20-byte hash. So if, depending on your architecture, it takes 8 bytes or 16 bytes or whatever, and just keeps chomping away at it recursively until it's got it. And it will just be a bunch of inline um, machine instructions. And the machine instructions are, I pass in a comparator so it can do a number of different things. Um, but basically, this is the ugly underbelly where um, you know, it's Intel intrinsic calls to you know, the vector instructions that do the right thing. And it just picks out the ones that are appropriate for that size hash. And so I'm kind of using C++ as an assembler, which is adapting to the C++ data structure that I'm trying to compare, um, which to me was new, at least. Um, and there's some bit fiddling required for byte swapping, et cetera, et cetera. So very quickly, results on an old CPU, Sandy Bridge, uh, that only has SSE2. Um, the top line is uh, libc. The green is asmlib which is that hand-coded machine instruction. And the bottom two are two slightly different versions of my C++ assembler stuff. So significantly faster. And if we look at Skylake, um, I understand that the latest version of libc is slightly better on Skylake, so there might be some improvements there. But there's a quite, a, quite a difference, three, four times faster. And interestingly, in the real world, in terms of sorting this large database of hashes, uh, went from 10 minutes to three minutes. And now the disk is the bottleneck. So, yeah.